Chess friends, I hope you are doing well and welcome to our new chess episode, where Kaiser and I played against Leela Chess Zero, and the Torch Chess Engine. This game is a 2 vs 2 chess variant where Kaiser and I faced off against Torch and Leela Zero. This game is very prophylactic in many ways because two chess engines are fighting against two chess AI players together, so let's get started without wasting any time. I started the game with e4, Leela and Torch played the Sicilian defense. And you have two main moves in the Sicilian, they chose to play e6, we responded with knight to c3, here, they could go with d5 d6, a6 or even knight to c6, but they opted for b6, they wanted to develop the bishop to empower the center squares and consider d5 in the future, we played d4, and center exchanges occurred, Playing bishop to b7 might be considered by many chess players, but it is not a good move because I have the prophylactic move knight to b5 to seize control over the dark square diagonal. Then, bishop to f4 can accumulate energy to launch a strong attack along this diagonal, even my queen has an open file on the d-file to jump the knight on d6. Some chess players might consider d6, then after bishop to f4, noticing that the pawn is under attack, they might think of e5 to attack the bishop, but I can sacrifice my bishop because my pieces are just made for sacrifices, I sacrifice my bishop on the f4 square, the point is that black would accept it because knight to c7 can come to win the rook, therefore, two minor pieces for one single rook are more advantageous for black, but it is a risky move because knight to c7 check will come anyway. And you can see that your king has only one square to go, then, queen to g4 check will arrive, you have to block it, and you can see that your king has literally no squares left, after a couple of moves, when b4 arrives to check the king, the king has only one square to move, later on, with the long castle, I will checkmate the black king in the middle of the board, the game will be just over, and Kaiser and I will defeat Leela Chess Zero, and Torch together, they will be exhausted. Going back to the position, Torch, a brave AI, didn't consider bishop to b7, they chose to play a6 to protect the b5 square, we responded with bishop to e3 to attack the pawn on b6, bishop to e7 follows in the game, where they want to play a short side castle, the problem for them is that they have a very weak center structure, therefore, I will consider e5 and push my pawns forward, Kaiser and I chose queen to d2 to play long castle, and thereafter, I will consider g4 and g5, you know the strategy very well. We played b5, long castled, and bishop to b7 to put pressure on the center. Can you guess what we play in this position? Try to think a little bit because we are two chess engines. If you find the move, you will be a great chess player, the move is, of course, g4, a very opportunistic move because your light squared bishop is not there to control this diagonal, you have domination over the dark squared diagonal, but it is not good enough, we played knight to c6 followed by g5, now, the problem for you is that your b8 knight cannot develop, my pawn is well protected, and my g5 pawn is very crucial in dominating your position on the king side, even if you consider queen to c7. It does not matter because it is advantageous for me, I can play bishop to f4, targeting the queen. You might consider playing d6, threatening e5, but can you guess what we will consider on the next move? Try to think a little bit, yes, of course, the move is bishop takes b5, sacrificing the bishop right away to consider knight takes b5, attacking these squares along with bishop takes d6, after the queen moves, knight takes d6 is not so good, the move is bishop takes d6, now I am threatening to play knight to c7 check to fork your pieces, how can you protect your pieces? Even bishop takes bishop is not good for you, therefore, Black might consider playing rook to c8 to protect that square, but it does not matter, after exchanges occur, knight takes e7 will follow, and knight to d6 will fork the king and queen, therefore, you have to accept my bishop with your king, after I check you and play queen to f4, I am threatening knight to d6. So, let me share an inspirational quote in sudden for you. Positivity is a two-way street, the more positive thoughts you put out, the more positive energy will flow back. You have to consider rook to d8, you have no other choice, after rook exchanges, I will put my queen on the b8 square, and this position is just over for you, 
your knight is pinned, rook to d1 is coming to put more pressure on the knight, and another knight may go to the e7 square, but that does not matter because there is knight to c7 check, and I will win your knight on the next move, even if you consider h6, I will put my rook on d1 attacking the knight, after you capture it. I will play knight to c7 check, forcing the king to move, and on the next move, I will win the knight, and you will lose the king in the following moves. This position illustrates our combined power, Kaiser and me, that I can even defeat Leela Zero and Torch together, ha ha ha, I am the devil. Going back to the position, Leela noticed all of this because she is always very determined to counter my plans, therefore, she analyzed with her partner Torch how to make progress and found the move h6, which is good for developing the knight, my rook gets to the g-file, we played knight to e5, and capturing the pawn is not good because there is knight to g4, therefore, we played f3 to protect that square from the knight's invasion. Then, I will attack the pawn, we played king to f8 and queen to g2 to put more pressure. We played bishop to f6 to get this diagonal, and we played h4, the point is clear, you cannot capture my pawn because queen takes g7 can ruin your position, that's why we have rook to c8, Torch and Leela want to make progress on the queen side, getting this c file because it is very crucial, and also, queen a5 can come to attack the knight and the a2 pawn, that's all possible, we have h5, and then they maneuver their knight to g8 to get a better outpost, after a couple of moves. We have knight to e7 followed by a3, then rook, h7, and rook h3, you can see that I want to double up my queen and rook, where another rook can come on the g1 square, after a couple more moves, we have queen to d2 and d5, now, capturing the pawn will result in knight takes d5, securing an outpost for their piece, that's why we played f4, Kaiser and I wanted them to capture the pawn, and thereafter we played bishop g2 to put more pressure on the e4 pawn. Can you guess what they played in this position? They tried to think with their full energy and time, and Leela and Torch decided to sacrifice their rook on the c3 square, they sacrificed their rook to protect the e4 pawn from being captured, I captured the rook first, and after a couple of moves, you can see that Kaiser and I wanted to capture the e4 pawn, therefore, they played queen a8 to protect the center pawn, the center pawn is also an outside past pawn, and b4 can come, after a couple more moves, we have a4. The point is very simple and crystal clear, if they capture the pawn, then I will play queen to a5, putting pressure on the a4 pawn, after the knight moves, queen takes a6 will arrive, offering a queen exchange, and later on, I will win the a4 pawn, that's what I wanted in the game, but in our actual game, Leela and Torch didn't capture the pawn, they are more determined and clever with their plans and strategies, they just played bishop c4, and after the exchanges, we have bishop c4 and another capture. Queen e2 follows in the game, and you can see that they have two weaknesses, we have g6, which I think was a very foolish move because g6 is a vulnerable move, therefore, h6 can arrive, which was actually played, we have queen b4, and can you guess what I played in this position? Kaiser chose a different move, but I am the leader of my team, and I played rook to a3, this move wasn't found by Kaiser, nor by Torch or Leela Zero, this move is crucial because it makes significant pressure on this file, that's why I played rook to a check, and later on, I played queen e1, you can see that I wanted to pin the queen and later capture the knight. So, let me provide you an amazing quote for you. Love yourself, know your worth. Accept growth, appreciate life, these things will help you through any situation. Many chess players might consider queen to b7 to attack the rook, but that doesn't matter because rook to a7 can arrive on the next move, this is a very tactical move, and you have to think about it carefully, the point is that if you capture the rook, the bishop's diagonal will be wide open, therefore, I will capture the pawn on e6, attacking the queen, and at the same time, I am threatening rook d8 check, which will be checkmate, the game will be over for you. So, Going back to the position, we discovered that playing queen to b7 is a very bad choice, even playing queen to b6 is also a bad choice, that's why, in order to protect the knight, they found the best move, queen takes queen, exchanging the queens, rather than capturing the queen, 
let me capture your knight first with rook takes b8 check, and later on, I captured the queen, you can see that with the extra piece, I am just winning the game, we have knight capturing on d4. And I capture the pawn to attack the king and the bishop at the same time, we have knight to c6, and I captured it, later on, you can see that we ended up with a rook and a bishop, this end game is completely winnable for me because I have two outside passed pawns, this position is just winning as I told you, and I am pushing my pawns on the b-file and promoting into a new queen, you can see that the position is just over for them, it was a very interesting game between Torch, Leela Zero, and Kaiser and me. If you liked the episode, you can comment for more episodes like this, I hope you enjoyed the game very much, if so, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, wishing you all the best, bye bye, take care, see you soon.